And we do find some countries that keep moving up quite rapidly. So, for example, China has been moving up very rapidly. You know, China's in the news recently. So, you know, China is ranked number 14 this year. And that is quite remarkable for a middle-income economy to be ranked that high. And China has been moving up over the years, you know, significantly in a steady, fairly steady fashion. And as we probably know that today, China exceeds the U.S. on some key metrics like number of publications, number of researchers, number of patents, and so on. Another country that's entered the top 10 this time for the first time is uh, uh, Korea. Korea, again, is a country that has been moving up, uh, you know, steadily and has done extremely well. And we all understand the, you know, the technology success stories behind Korea's success. At a more broader level, you see a shift happening towards Asia. Both the countries are talked about were from Asia, but besides Korea and and uh, China, you also see India, Philippines, Vietnam moving up. And India has moved, you know, from I think in the low 80s about five years ago to 48 this year, and clearly there's room for it to improve further. So you see a shift towards Asia as a whole. But another thing which is very positive and which is something you would not expect naturally is we do try to look at who are the countries that are overachieving as compared to the peers at the same income per capita group. So the same income uh, sort of wealth levels who are overachieving. And right. a lot of the in- innovation achievers actually come from sub-Saharan Africa. And that is, I think, a very positive result. You know, you see countries like Rwanda, Madagascar, Malawi, you know, they are amongst those countries. In fact, sub-Saharan Africa sees the, we see the 